Millions of people's lives in limbo as the president's immigration plan is put on hold. Yesterday, a federal judge blocked the president's order that would have stopped the deportation of about 5 million people. That order on hold until lawsuits brought by these 26 states can be settled. Well, today, the Obama administration is appealing that ruling. And 7 News reporter Lindsay Watts set a rally today and talking to families impacted here in Colorado who say they will keep moving forward. We all have been undocumented since we've been here. Alex Pardo was too young to remember when his parents brought him here from Mexico. Me and my two brothers, uh, they're about 10 and 12 years older than me. His brothers, too old to apply for a program allowing some children of undocumented immigrants to stay in the U.S. President Obama's recent executive order would have spared Alex's brothers and about 5 million others from deportation. Now that's on hold, putting dreams on hold too. He was disappointed. Alex talked to one of his brothers this morning. He uh, asked me if he should just stop trying, and I told him no. This is just a scare tactic from my politicians. Today, we stand with the Obama administration. Denver today, Mayor Michael Hancock joined immigrant rights America activists at a rally today, telling people not to be discouraged after the ruling out of Texas, temporarily blocking the president's executive action on immigration. This is the very long opinion from the Texas judge. Colorado was not one of the 26 states that brought the lawsuit, but that doesn't matter. This injunction would apply across the country. It's very important to understand how our legal process works. And what's going to happen immediately is the government's going to appeal this. Before all is said and done, the case may end up before the Supreme Court. Tener un negocio propio. A waiting game for some at this rally and millions of others. It's really important that Clients, uh, people who think they're eligible for this program continue to, you know, um, take the necessary steps to prepare documentation and to get ready to apply for these programs. Republican leaders here in Denver and across the nation are celebrating the Texas court's decision tonight. Since President Obama issued his executive order, the GOP has said he is overstepping his authority. Reporting live, Lindsay Watts, 7 News.